Finally tonight, our number one story, and the very serious, very unsettling part, the Fox News Channel played in the assassination of Dr. George Tiller, the horrifying realization that a television figure can be a facilitator for domestic terrorism. This was underscored, proved even, today when a man named Frank Schaefer wrote for the Huffington Post that as a former member of the anti-abortion activist far right, he believes he, quote, shares the blame for the murder of Dr. Tiller, as we believe here does Fox News Channel. Schaefer followed his father, Francis, an evangelist, into the field, each writing books. His father's was called a Christian manifesto. In certain passages, he advocated force if all other methods for rolling back the abortion ruling of Roe v. Wade failed. He compared America and its legalized abortion to Hitler's Germany and said that whatever tactics would have been morally justified in removing Hitler would be justified in trying to stop abortion. Like many writers of moral, political, religious theories, my father and I would have been shocked that someone took us at our word, walked into a Lutheran church and pulled the trigger on an abortionist. But even if the murderer never read Dad's or my words, we helped create the climate that made this murder likely to happen. Of course, in this case, the murderer clearly heard the words from Fox News Channel or in the most benign of constructions, read the words of those who had heard the words from Fox News Channel. There is a comment thread from the Operation Rescue website from April and May 2007. I'm not implying these other posters had a hand in this. These are merely comments from readers about an anti-Tiller prayer event in Wichita. It begins with a post from April 6th asking, Has Bill O'Reilly been invited to any of the Tiller events? And if so, what has been his reply? Has Fox News covered any of the events? There are two subsequent answers echoing the invitation, and then there is the ninth post from May 19, 2007, which reads, Bless, misspelled, everyone for attending and praying in May to bring justice to Tiller and the closing of his death camp. That was posted by Scott Roeder. Scott Roeder is the name of the suspected terrorist who was arrested yesterday for assassinating Dr. George Tiller. And what were the kinds of things he and or those around him heard about Dr. Tiller from Fox News? Killing babies in America. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. For $5,000, Tiller, the baby killer as some call him, will perform a late-term abortion for just about any reason. You're okay with some woman being depressed, executing her child hours before it's born. There's a lot of evidence there that he was performing illegal late-term abortions and covering up instances of child rape. You should be very disturbed by what continues to happen in Kansas. This man, Dr. George Tiller, known as Tiller the Baby Killer, is performing late-term abortions without defining the specific medical reasons why. Dr. George Tiller, who is uh, one of the few doctors in the United States who performs the Hitlerian procedure known as uh, a partial birth abortion. Right. Tiller has killed thousands, thousands of late-term fetuses without explanation. No question, Dr. Tiller has blood on his hands. Tiller, the baby killer out in Kansas, acquitted. Acquitted today of uh, murdering babies. There's got to be a special place in hell for this guy. This guy will kill your uh, baby uh, for $5,000, any reason. Any reason. You go in, you go, the Glenn Beck program upset me today, and I can't have the baby. <laughs> I mean, Bang, I, you got five grand, he's taking him out. For four years, on at least 28 occasions, that is what was said on Fox News Channel. Nazism, Al-Qaeda, Hitler, Mao Zedong, Stalin, baby-killing, pedophilia, Tiller, the baby killer. Again and again and again. And tonight, confronted with the inevitable result of instigation, the principal perpetrator at Fox News Channel made no acknowledgement of culpability, nor even regret. He said, no backpedaling here, I report honesty. Everything we said about Tiller was true, and my analysis was based on those facts. It is clear that the far left is exploiting the death of the doctor. Those vicious individuals want to stifle any criticism of people like Tiller. That and hating Fox News is the real agenda here. If these people were so compassionate, so very compassionate, so concerned for the rights and welfare of others, maybe they might have written something on things about the 60,000 fetuses who will never become American citizens. It is useless to urge restraint on men who believe self-editing of freedom of speech should apply only to others, that they are flawless and blameless and righteous. It is useless to make Frank Schaefer's argument to them, even though they have made parallel ones about how liberal television degrades children, about how liberal television hypnotizes voters, about how liberal entertainment destroys American values. When they reply, not in this case, bad apple, TV can't make that happen, it is useless to say if TV can't make something happen, then why do people advertise on it with the same commercial again and again and again in hopes of making buzzwords sink in? The Geico Gecko, Viva Viagra, FreeCreditReport.com, Tiller the Baby Killer. Don't tell them. They will not listen. 
We know this because of the case earlier this year of a Fox News commentator named Bernard Goldberg. In February, it was revealed that last July, before he walked into a Unitarian church in Tennessee and opened fire during a children's play, Jim David Adkison had written a note of explanation. This was a symbolic killing, he said. Who I wanted to kill was every Democrat in the Senate and the House, the 100 people in Bernard Goldberg's book. That 2005 book was called The 100 People Who Are Screwing Up America, and on the list was everybody from Al Gore to Anna Nicole Smith. Mr. Goldberg did not even offer as much as his regrets, never might offer his resignation. His employer, Fox News, responded to reporting that placed the books of several of its hosts in Adkison's home by sending one of the same producers who stalked the late Dr. Tiller to stalk the reporter who had had the nerve to link that network to the two people killed by Adkison in Tennessee. So what to do? Viewer boycotts mean little. You are already here. You are not watching Fox News Channel. Advertiser boycotts are also of limited value. Most make barely a dent in a company. Besides which, in this economy, an advertiser that found its sales boosted by association with malaria would start breeding mosquitoes. If there is a solution, it is perhaps an indirect boycott. It is probably your experience, as it has been mine, that stores, bars, restaurants, waiting rooms often show Fox News on their televisions. Don't write a letter. Don't make a threat. Just get up and explain. If they will not change the channel, leave the place and say calmly why it is you are taking your business elsewhere. If you know a viewer of that channel, show them this tape, or just the tape of the attacks on Dr. Tiller that set the stage for his assassination. Fox News Channel will never restrain itself from incitement to murder and terrorism, not until its profits begin to decline, when its growth stops. So, not so much a boycott here as a quarantine, because this has got to stop. That I have a commercial conflict of interest here is obvious, so I'll make the first symbolic contribution to this quarantine. One of my pleasures, obviously, is constantly criticizing him in that Ted Baxter voice. It is the idea of laughter as a social sanction against inflexible behavior. But this is no time for laughter. This is serious. Serious as death. Serious as George Tiller's death. So as of this show's end, I will retire the name, the photograph, and the caricature. The words may still be quoted in the future as developments dictate. But the goal here is to get this blindly irresponsible man and his ilk off the air. We are only in the television news business, a profession that is at times about two inches up from carnival barking. We must again separate it, television, from terrorism. And we must again make the world safe for people condemned by the Fox News Channel. Peace to all. This is Rationally Yours, and I'm out of here.